Last time, we responded to input from the accelerometer on the micro bit. On this episode, we'll take a look at another sensor. If you look closely at the back of the board, you won't see a physical chip that's designed to measure temperature. However, the main processor has a built-in temperature sensor that's actually intended to monitor the internal temperature to prevent it from getting too hot. We can read from that temperature sensor, and as long as the processor is not crunching too many numbers at once and getting too hot, it should be a fairly close representation of the temperature around the micro bit. Head to makecode.com and start a new micro bit project. We want to read the temperature and store it to a variable, so drag set item 2 from variables and attach it to the forever block. Click on item and rename the variable to temperature. Drag temperature from input and attach it to the right of the set variable block. Drag show number from basic and attach it just under the set variable block. Grab a temperature variable block and replace the default zero in show number. This scrolls the number stored inside the temperature variable across the display. In basic, snap a pause block under show number. Change 100 to 1000. We want some kind of delay before the temperature scrolls again, otherwise you'll get an endless string of numbers with no space in between them. Download the project and copy it to your micro bit. Every second, the current temperature of the processor will scroll across the display. Note that this is given in Celsius, so you might have to do some math to get it to Fahrenheit. Now that we know how to read temperature, let's make a gauge using a servo, but first let's see how to control a servo. A servo, short for servo motor, is an electric motor with a feedback mechanism that allows it to move to and hold a specific position. Most basic servos cannot rotate all the way around. This one can move a little more than 180 degrees. Notice that I've added an arm to the servo's shaft. We control servos by providing power and ground on the red and black lines, and then sending specially encoded digital pulses to the white wire. Note that some servos might have brown for ground and orange, yellow, or blue for the signal line. The easiest way to connect a servo to the micro bit is to insert three jumper wires into the servo's connector and then use alligator clips to connect power to three volts on the micro bit, ground to GND, and the signal line to pin zero. Let's test the servo. We'll have it move to different positions when we press the buttons. Back in make code, start a new project. Drag on button A pressed from input to the project. Click on advanced and go into pins. Snap servo right pin to the on button pressed block. Right click on the on button pressed block and click duplicate. Do this one more time so we have a total of three button pressed blocks. Move them around so you can see all three. Change one of them to look for button B and the other to A plus B. Under B, change the servo position to 90, which will have the servo point straight ahead. Under A plus B, change the servo position to 180, which will have the servo point to the opposite direction of its starting position. Download and copy this program to your micro bit. When you press B, the servo should move 90 degrees. When you press A and B together, you should see the servo move to the opposite position from where it started. And when you press A, it should return to its original position. Now that we know the servo works, let's make it move to a particular position depending on the temperature. And let's keep the range to something about room temperature, so 20 to 35 degrees Celsius. If you want to make a slightly more permanent connection to your servo, you can use some solid core wire. Cut three three-inch pieces and strip the ends. Use a pair of needle nose pliers to make hooks on one end of each wire. Wrap the hook of the wire around a 440 screw near the top. Place the screw through one of the mounting holes that we'll use, like ground. On the back side, screw on a plastic standoff to keep the screw and wire secure. Repeat the process two more times to attach wires to the other two pins. We'll need ground, three volts, and pin zero. Plug the wires into the appropriate pins on the servo's connector. In make code, start a new project. In variables, drag set item to zero to forever. Change item to temperature. From input, drag temperature to that block and replace the default zero. We want to limit the temperature to something between 20 and 35 degrees Celsius. So drag an if-then block from logic and snap it under the set temperature block. 
Click the settings icon and add an else if block. Click the icon again to turn it off. Grab the less than block from logic and snap it to the if portion of the if then block. In variables, drag a temperature variable and snap it into the first number of the less than block. Change the second number to 20. Now, if the temperature reading is less than 20 degrees, true will be returned to the if condition. If it is less than 20, we'll just want to set temperature to 20 since we don't want the gauge to go below this. Get a set item 2 block from variables and snap it to the then section. Change the variable to temperature and change the number to 20. Get another less than block from logic and snap it into the else if section. Drag a temperature variable to the first number of this block, change the inequality to greater than and change the second number to 35. Get a set item 2 block and snap it into the second then section. Change the variable name to temperature and change the 0 to 35. Now, if the temperature is greater than 35 degrees, it will be capped at 35. Click Advanced and go to Pins. Grab a servo right pin block. Snap it under the if then statement. Back in pins, grab a map function and snap it inside the servo right pin block, replacing the number 180. Map linearly translates a number between one set of values to another set. The first number is the number we want to translate and it should be somewhere between 0 and 1023. If we made it 800, then this function would figure out where that lies between 0 and 1023 and give us an integer that is the same amount between 0 and 4. It would be 3 in this case. We want to map our temperature value between 20 and 35 to an actual servo value that's between 0 and 180. So, drag our temperature variable to the first map parameter. Change the from parameters to 20 and 35 and change the to parameters to 0 and 180. Download the program and copy it to the microbit drive. The servo will now point in a direction that represents the current ambient temperature. If you want to get creative with your gauge, you can make a little back forward out of some cardboard and go ahead and attach the servo using some screws. I also went ahead and marked the different integer values of the temperatures that it could show and glued on a popsicle stick to make the needle easier to read. If you turn the micro bit over and breathe on the back of it where the processor is, you can get it to measure the temperature of your breath. 